Your favorite Dairy Queen is celebrating free Cone Day on March 19th. This year, the celebration has a new twist with Dip It for Kids. When you dip your free cone for $1, that $1 is donated to help change kids' health at your local CMN hospital. Davis, your host of the Untold Miracles podcast. And today I'm so excited to be sitting down with an amazing musician and actress who currently stars in the hit show American Housewives on ABC and who plays Addison in Zombies and Zombies 2. She's been performing and sharing her talents since she was a little girl. But what really inspires me about her is she has a really big heart. She just recently visited one of our children's hospitals and made a lot of kids happy. Please welcome to the podcast, Meg Donnelly. Hi. Hi, Meg. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Well, I'm so excited to be sitting down with you today. It's such an honor to get to know you better. And I'm very excited because we have a patient from Children's Hospital Los Angeles, Sasha, and she's here to help ask a few questions. Sasha is an amazing 11-year-old girl who has cerebral palsy, but she doesn't let it stop her from living her dreams. And she has her own foundation, the Sasha Project, where she designs denim to raise funds for the art therapy program at Children's Hospital Los Angeles. So we're super excited to have you here, Sasha. <laughs> so on this podcast we talk about miracles and your life has been pretty miraculous and I want to start <laughs> um, at a very young age you started in the business mm-hmm. tell us how your love for performing began well it kind of started off I was terrible at sports so <laughs> I needed to find another extracurricular activity and so I grew up in New York City so musical theater is huge and so I was a total theater kid like my whole life like all I wanted to do was be in the theater and like on Broadway It wasn't until I was like 11, so it was like 5 to 11 that I just did it and I loved it. I was so in love with performing, like I never wanted to do anything else. And then it kind of started when this agent came to a show and was like, can we sign your daughter? We're interested. And my parents were like, what is it? Sign what? what?" Like we had no idea. My parents (laughs) are in the business, so we were just very confused. And it kind of just went up from there. Like I kept doing what I loved, but it was like auditioning for like professional jobs. And at the time I didn't realize how big that was because... Because I was a kid and I just it was fun and it still hasn't stopped being fun like it doesn't feel like a job so I'm really thankful for that and it is a miracle because I get to do what I love and it's also work too so it's insane well I think it's incredible that an agent came to you so many people have to go out and find an agent yeah. but an agent happens to be at your show you yeah. get signed and at 11 years old you were on Netflix with Team Tune yeah. as Ash yeah. what yeah. was that experience like? oh it was so much fun it was me and, and three boys and we had the greatest time we were all the same age like all 11 it was 10 months of filming and we j- I learned so much just about the industry and about filming and it was really almost like a workshop for myself learning about filming. It was, it was really incredible. So what advice do you have to young girls, young boys that want to go pursue their dreams and maybe they have fear, maybe they don't know what to do? What would you tell them? I would say keep doing it. Do what you love because I did musical theater after school like I was just at like little playhouses and since I kept doing it it kind of almost like came to me if that makes sense and I think if you're passionate about it and you really love doing it then anything for that matter you should pursue it but if you're kind of just like oh like I want to do it for like followers or I want to do it because I like acting but like I don't really want to do it I just want to be on TV like you have to love it because it's so hard the pool of people it's just like it's just massive like I feel like you just have to love doing it and I think that's the most important thing is being passionate about it well I think that's so wise because I think a lot of kids today don't realize the work involved and you are here and about to go on set you have to be on set at 10 like it is it is a it's a long day but you love it and I love that your passion shows and inspires so many people yeah last month on Valentine's Day Zombies Mm -hmm. 2 came out and as many listeners know you play Addison a high school cheerleader I want you to tell us about that character what you liked about playing her and some of the great life lessons that you learned from the movie Ooh, I learned so many um Playing Addison is incredible. I want to play her forever. She is just such a inspiration for young girls. Like she really just stands up for what she believes in. And in the first one, she was like very timid at first and it shows her whole journey of like finding her voice and becoming brave. And I think it's so inspiring just for not even girls, just everybody trying to find their voice. Even though there's some really hard hitting themes in the movie, just about the world and life in general, like it's very relatable to high school kids or kids who are 
were in middle school because it's all about trying to navigate and finding yourself and really just accepting others for who they are and accepting yourself for who you are. And I think it's so relatable for high school kids, especially trying to navigate because that's when you're like, what am I going to do with my life? And that's exactly the journey that Addison goes through in Zombies too. She's like, who am I? Like, what am I doing here? Everyone has their place. I feel like I don't. And for Addison, I feel like we're definitely alike in a lot of ways, but I learned so much from her, her bravery and courage and the way she's just like so forgiving. It's just really, really inspiring. I learned a lot from her and like I hope to be a lot like her. (laughs) What way would you say you're most like her? I love getting to know people and she from any walks of life she's like I want to get to know you I want to know your story your background your everything like I want to see where you live like um and that's exactly what I do like whenever I go somewhere on vacation I'm like I wish I grew up here I want to learn the language I want to know everything about these people because I think it's so crazy that we live in the same world but we're just so different and it really boggles my mind so I love to learn about people American Housewives is in the fourth season and you're about to head to set there and you play Taylor the (laughs) eldest of three kids and it's interesting because you're actually a single child so now you have siblings Actually, we're all only children. Oh, you are? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, she grew out of an awkward phase, kind of stepped into her own. Mm -hmm. Were there any miracles involved in you getting that role? Because I heard or read that they cast someone else. They did, yeah. Um, It actually was a miracle because from like 11 to 16, um, I was thankful for Team Tune, but nothing really, like I've been working so hard and... um, just going on auditions and just like a bunch of no's whatever but I was still pursuing and especially as a kid it's hard like giving up your social life too because they're like oh there's a party and like in hindsight it's not a big deal but when you're a kid you're like oh man like I wish I didn't have this audition and it's really hard and I stuck through it and then when American Housewife happened it was between me and the other girl and they gave it to the other girl and then I was kind of like, you know what, like, I just need to take a little break because this has been so hard. And then two weeks later, they're like, actually, we're recasting her. Like, you should come in again. Like, right when I was about to be like, OK, I need to so take a break. Crazy. Just they it just came in. And then next thing I know, I'm in L.A. It was definitely a miracle. One thousand percent. There's a really cool episode on American Housewives where you are trying out for the judges on American Idol. But <laughs> yeah. the crazy thing is. You didn't know they were actually going to be there that day. Tell us what that was like. So they told me that I was going to be singing on the set of American Idol, but it was going to be in front of Katie and Diedrich, my TV parents. Right. And I'm so comfortable around them. I'm like, amazing. I'm going to sing, whatever. And we get there and they're like, five minutes before, they're like, actually, you're going to sing in front of the actual judges and then we're going to do the parents bit afterwards because it's a whole dream sequence. So I did sing in front of Katie and Diedrich, but I also sang in front of the judges. Which is Katy Perry, Lionel Richie, and Luke Bryan. Yes. (laughs) Amazing singers. Yes. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't know. I didn't (laughs) sign up for this. Like, I'm, and I was so unbelievably nervous. And actually, before I had to do something with Ryan Seacrest, and it made me more nervous because I was like, this is, (laughs) and he was so nice. And he really, like, calmed me down a lot. He's, like, the nicest guy ever. And I was like, all right. So that made me feel a little bit better, but... I'm so nervous. Well, oh. As part of your job, you have to sacrifice a lot. Kind of the typical teenage experience. What has this sacrifice looked like for you? A lot of times I feel thankful for my parents because I feel like they've sacrificed the most. Mm-hmm. Just like mm-hmm. between their jobs and having to figure that all out. And they like moved to L.A. with me. And I feel like they gave up a lot. So it's really hard on just like the family in general. Especially, I can't imagine, I'm the only child, I can't imagine having another sibling. Right. That's like, you know, when you split up the family and like the mom and daughter. and right. the, you, Which like happens that, a lot. A lot. Yeah. Like you see it all the time. And I, I can't imagine, like I give it up to those families. Like they're very strong. But for me, I feel like it was just like giving up a lot of friend time. And especially when friends who aren't doing what I do, like not understanding it and they get mad at you. And I'm like, yo, I... It has nothing to do with you. Right. Um, there's just like a lot of drama when it comes to that. But overall, like that's a tiny con and like the right. like a huge pool of pros. Like it was great. Well, you had a really special day on set where you didn't have to sacrifice your high school graduation. Tell us about that. Oh, yeah. On American Housewife. So for junior and senior year, I was here in L.A. and I was just doing set school on American Housewife. So for my senior year, like I graduated and I was like, OK, cool. Like, yay, <laughs> graduated, like went out, got like cake, whatever. But then the next day when I showed up on set, it was a total surprise. I had no idea. Wesley, who's the tutor, like made this whole graduation speech and 
they gave me a cap and gown and like the whole entire cast and crew were just in the set and my tv mom and julia butters my tv sister started crying and it, oh, it was insane i couldn't believe it and i'm so thankful for them they're the best well you recently visited Dayton Children's Hospital yeah. to meet some of our amazing kids and yeah. help announce a new partnership with Huffy and Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Tell me about that experience and what it meant to you to meet Cora and Sabrina and Soretta. Amazing. It was incredible. I had the greatest time. The hospital is just so incredible. It's so big and there's so much to do and they really make it fun for the kids. And they're trying to do their best because, you know, these kids are going through so much and their bravery is just enough. And what they're going through is horrible, but they make it fun for the kids. Like they're doing their best that they can. Or even Huffy is like for kids to go to their operations, they have like little like airplanes or like little cars so they can like drive to their operations and like they, just to make it as fun as they possibly can. And I was just so inspired by that. It's like they're doing incredible things over there. And just meeting the kids alone was so much fun. I just like went to room to room. I heard all their stories and talked to their parents and the positivity that they have is insane. I met this like 17 year old boy and he's going to be a neurosurgeon. If he didn't have no hair, you wouldn't even be able to tell. It like really hit me. I don't know. It was really incredible. That's powerful. I really, really appreciate you sharing. And yeah. I, I really, when I think of those kids, I think of Sash sitting right next to yeah. me. I mean, I've known her for many, many, many years and living with cerebral palsy has challenges. It impacts a lot of Sasha's life, but you would never know because she is so positive, yeah. so happy, and just always looking out for other people and wanting to help people. So yeah, these kids truly are so inspiring. We're gonna bring Sasha in yes, to the please. interview and we're gonna ask you some quick fire questions. And so I'm gonna let Sasha take the microphone and ask a couple questions. Yay. What is your favorite Disney show? Um, probably High School Musical. Just because I feel like that inspired me the most to like love Disney and to love like decom musicals or Cheetah Girls or Wizards of Waverly. Oh man. Okay. I'm just going to stick with High School Musical. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like singing or acting better? I feel like since I've been doing acting for most of my life, I feel like right now in this moment, I think music just because it's so new to me and I really want to dive into that part of my career. Do you have a pet? I do. I have a cat named Maui and a dog named Allie. I have a pet too. Really? What? Yeah. What, what is it? Um, it's a terrier poodle and her name's Lola. Lola? That's so cute. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is orange. I honestly don't even know if it's my favorite color, but <laughs> I always say orange because I feel like it needs more love. It's underrated. What about you? What's your favorite um, I like red and pink. Red and pink. That's really good. Very Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. What is your favorite food? Sushi. Hands down. I have it like almost every day. It's so <laughs> bad. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know who your biggest hero is. I feel like my biggest hero is my mom or just my parents in general. They came from not a lot and they really just worked so hard to provide for me and they didn't even know me yet they didn't know <laughs> if I was if I was worth it but it, like it just the idea of like having a family they like wanted to make sure their child was more fortunate than them and I can never repay them for that and they inspire me a lot I want to know if you could do a duet with anyone who would it be who besides Milo <laughs> I was about to say Milo Manheim um a duet dead or alive yeah I'd say Bob Marley. He's like my biggest inspiration. Definitely not the kind of genre of music I do, but um, I just always listen to him whenever I'm like feeling anxious or down. So I feel like doing a song with him would be so cool because it would just be relaxing. And he's just like someone I look up to just because his philosophy on life is just to keep living and don't worry about anything and everything's going to work out. So that'd be really cool. Will you speak Japanese? I want to know your favorite word or phrase in Japanese and what that means. This is a really odd word, but I just love saying it. It's called, it's uh, daijoubu, mm -hmm. and it means it's okay. So if you're like, oh, I'm sorry, and they're like, oh, daijoubu. Daijoubu. Yeah. I just love saying it. It like is really fun to say. I love that. So what's your guilty pleasure? ASMR. Do you know ASMR? Mm -hmm. Like when, do you know ASMR? No. It's like um, videos of people like whispering. It's so weird. <laughs> like whispering and like tapping on things. And it's oh, supposed no, to I've give you like tingles. It. No, I've heard about that. Yeah. It really helps me relax and sleep. 
but everyone thinks it's so weird but it's definitely my guilty yeah. pleasure I watch it all the time <laughs> um I want to know who you listen to when you do your dance parties in your room oh I listen to so many um Whitney Houston really gets me going um how will I know <laughs> that was really good um probably Whitney Houston what is your favorite Avenger movie because I hear you're kind of a fan Ooh, probably the first Avenger movie I mean, they're all amazing, but when I watched the first Avengers in 2011, that's when I like, I liked Marvel, like I watched all the movies, whatever, but that's the movie that changed the game for me. And since I was living in New York City, like, and the whole thing took place in New York City, well, some of it, like the big battle scene, when I walked outside, I was like, pew, 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 like I really thought I was in it. Right, right. And um, that's when I started reading all the comics and everything, so I think the first one. What has been the biggest miracle in your life? I know we've talked about a lot today, but is there one that stands out to you? Uh, like hmm. getting the role of Addison was, how did Yeah, you're, like, I feel like Addison was definitely a huge miracle just cause going into it, Milo and I had no idea what to expect at all. And I had always wanted to be on Disney like my whole life cause I was so inspired by Disney Channel and High School Musical for that matter. And so the fact that it was like, kind of high school musical in a way it was just so surreal to me and then after it came out I remember the first time it really hit me was when we did this meet and greet at Barnes and Noble and we thought that like seven kids were gonna show up maybe because it was like a CD signing we're like it's only been out for like two weeks like whatever and there was hundreds of kids just singing the songs and I was like bawling my eyes out because I just couldn't believe I well you were living I your still dream I can't believe it I know. It's incredible. I, I feel like Addison has definitely changed my life in a lot of ways. And also, on the first and second zombies, just filming, just being in Toronto for three months with all these people that I love so much, because we're all, like, best friends, and spending time with dancers, too. Like, it builds your confidence, and you learn so much about yourself, and you're just, like, in this foreign place, and it's like this little bubble. It's almost like summer camp. I feel like you would, like, learn so much about yourself. It's, like, just like that. Yeah. The last question I asked all of my guests, if there were three miracles that you could create in the world today, what would that look like for you? Ooh, I feel like I would want every kid to have a chance of pursuing their dream, like, um, or just like, so every kid could live their dream. Oh my gosh, there's so much that I want to do in the world. Um, disease. Just eliminate it all. Yeah. And just <laughs> all of it. Everyone right. just, and also, and, and hate. Mm, I feel like yeah, that's, that's like, good. If you're like thinking like a big, broader term, I feel like that would be amazing if we are all just love each other. Well, I want to thank you so much. I want to thank sweet Sasha so much yeah, for being here so today. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. Sasha, you inspire us. We're so grateful for all you do to raise money. You can go to your website and you're on Instagram. Um, MegDonnelly.com and my Instagram is just MegDonnelly. It's just my name. So, <laughs> yeah. And of course, you need to go buy her album, Trust. Go Thank watch you. Zombies, Zombies <laughs> 2 and tune in on ABC to watch American Housewives because your character is amazing. But Thank, Thank you so much for being here. Such an honor to have your support of Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. Surgery can be scary for children. That's why Children's Miracle Network Hospitals partners with Huffy to help reduce stress and relieve anxiety. Kids can experience positive feelings as they make their way to surgery in a donated Huffy-powered ride-on. You can help hospitalize kids, too. Donate to your local children's hospital on Huffy.com after purchase. Huffy will match donations up to $50,000. Thank you.